Hello, my name is Staff Sergeant Paul Millis, and I'm one of the Marines stationed here at the National Museum of the Marine Corps. Today we're going to talk about hydraulics, what we all use them for, and how the Marines use them to accomplish their missions. First, what does the word hydraulics mean? The two Latin root words are hydro, meaning water, and alos, meaning pipe. The principles behind hydraulics as we understand them today date back to 1648 and a man named Blaise Pascal. Through his works with mathematics and water pressure in long pipes, he produced Pascal's Law, which states that a change in pressure at any point in an enclosed fluid at rest is transmitted undiminished to all points of the fluid. This can be demonstrated by connecting two syringes filled with water. We can see the amount of pressure we put on one side of the fluid syringe is equal to the force at the other end. If we try this with a syringe filled with air, it takes much more pressure to move the same amount of weight. This is due to an important part of Pascal's Law. Fluid is not compressible. With air, you can squeeze a lot of it into a small area and create a lot of pressure with it. Sometimes this is good, like using an air compressor to fill up your bike tires, or when an 18-wheeler needs to stop at a lot of wheels that are on different trailers. However, with fluid, you can't squeeze it any tighter than it already is. This means that the pressure we make in a hydraulic system is very stable and reliable, especially over a long distance. This shows the use of hydraulics, turning the movement of fluid into mechanical motion sometimes called actuation. So what do we use this for? Answers to this question are all around us. The car you took to the store has hydraulic brakes. The dump truck and front loader you see on the side of the road use hydraulics to lift very heavy loads. The squirt guns you play with outside use hydraulic pistons to create pressure. Hydraulics make some of the heavy lifting in our lives a lot easier. But what does the Marine Corps use hydraulics for? On top of all the same things we just spoke about, the Marine Corps uses hydraulics for some pretty unique jobs. Airplanes like the KC-130J use hydraulics for a lot of different things. Landing gear, flaps, and flight controls are all hydraulically actuated. Abrams tanks use hydraulics to aim their barrels, and there are even water cannons on some of our explosive ordnance disposal robots. A single armored vehicle launched bridge can deploy a 15-ton, 60-foot bridge in under two minutes, thanks to its gigantic hydraulic piston. Hydraulics can make a Marine's mission much faster, safer, and easier with a flip of just a few switches.